All right, guys, in this video, we are going to see the decorators, how decorators are used and how we can pass arguments in them and how we can create custom decorators. All right, so let's get started with the decorators. Here I have this code. I have a function where modify data. I'm passing inside this function fn as a function as a parameter to this function. Then we have a wrapper function inside it. And inside that, I'm just saying print some data, and then we are calling the fn function, which is previously passed as a parameter. And then here, some more data. And at last, I'm returning the wrapper. Nothing fancy, very simple code. This is the internal function. And then we also have a function named data, where I'm saying print new data. It's a separate function. So what do you want to do? We want to pass this data function there inside modify underscore data function. And how we can do that, let's see how it all works. First, I show you this simple example. Then I show you how we can do it using decorator. So I call modify data. I pass data. And I set it equal to data. OK, so now this data that we have this is going to be the modified one. Okay, so I call this function. Now we have print statements everywhere, so we should see uh, print new data and after some data. Now we should have the some data, you can see that it's top. Then we have the new data, which is coming second, because if you see, we have fn passed after the print some data, and it is working from there. And then we have some more data, which is the last print value. So the function we passed, it executed between those two print statements in between them. So that's why we have three print statements and new data comes in the middle. So this is a basic example where we are passing it. But how do I do it using a decorator? Because we don't want to pass it like this. So what I do, I comment this line and I'll show you how you can use a decorator. Here, I say at, and I just want to call the function name. So modify underscore data here. And when you call this, it will act like a decorator. It will work the same way, and we will get the same output. So let's see now. So if I run this code, and you will see that we will have the text in the same order. First, some data, then the new data, and at last, we will have some more data just the same way. So this is just, uh, we are defining that this is the decorator and uh, follow the same way, the way we called it previously. So here we are calling the data function. Let's, let's run it. So I just run it and we still get the same output. Some data, new data, some more data. So in the same order. If I comment this and try again, it you will see we only get new data because that is inside the data function. So it is not related to the modified data function. But when put decorator, it connects with that and we get three lines. OK, so this is one of the basic example that you uh, how things work when we define a custom decorator. Now let's see some more examples how our decorators work because this is very basic usage so far be printing something and you won't be doing uh, this kind of usage in, in real world programs so we need to see how we can modify data all right so here I have data I can pass here a value right let's pass name and then we can do something with it okay so it's a string name so here I can say return and I return a f string and there we can put something so I create a statement here, the name is, and then we pass the name, which is passed there. All right, we can even pass multiple. We will pass later on, but for now, I'm just pass them on. So here on top, what I'm going to do, instead of printing, which is not what you're going to do normally, we want to pass here, I want to uppercase it, whatever value we get. So for first of all, we need to pass the name as we are passing in data the same way that data goes inside the modify data function. So we need name here. 
And to access name there, we need to pass that name in wrapper as well. So it should be in parentheses of wrapper too. Now we have the access there in the modified data. So we can call here a function, which is the upper, and which is going to make it uh, all uppercase. All right. Now this is something which is going to return a name is and the whole string will be uppercase. Okay, that's what it is going to do. Now here we need to pass a name. So uh, let's pass Roger. I'm passing lowercase so that we can see the changes. All right, so that this string will be uppercase. So let's let's try it, what we get once we run it. And here we need to print it because we are returning the values. We are not printing any good. I run the code, I get none. Now the reason I get run is because in wrapper we need to return because we are returning the wrapper, but the content of wrapper is not returned. So now it should be fine. Okay, now let's run it. Okay, the name is Roger. There is a space required. So we can put that space um, before name. To make it a bit better here. Yeah. And that the basic logic is clear. It's the name is Roger, it's uppercase. So our modified data wrapper is working. Still a basic example. Now let's pass another value. I want to pass the age as well. So let's say 23 and here also 23 uh, is age it will be passed so here we can put something like and ages and then the number of age whatever it is all right now in the modified data we need to put some kind of logic now so let's put the logic i want to make uh, age here so we want to check that if the age is less than or more than 18 then we can check some uh, or return data accordingly so if i say here age is more than 18 or equal to 18 what do we want to do we want to return something and what do we want to return we say function and i pass simply the uh, name and age so that we get the string that we are returning just the same way so here name and comma age so it's just a simple way as it's supposed to be i missed a colon there so I need to add it here now we put else and in else what do we want to do here we want to say uh, if the age is less than 18 we want to return a string simply and make sure the spelling is correct here it's going to be a string and we can say that that name that particular name is not an adult not a not adult okay that's all it is going to do so now we don't need this uppercase line, we can remove it. Still a basic logic, but you get the idea how you can use the decorator. Now here we are passing and here we are printing. So run it, we get name is Roger, age is 23. Because it is more than 18, it is printing like that. If I say 13, this time it will print the string. So Roger is not adult. So you get the idea that logic is happening inside the decorator function and we are just printing the string in the main function. So all the logic is separately. You can have in the separate files logics for uh, this type and you can call in your functions. You can use this modified data in multiple functions. You get the idea it will do that whatever logic you define inside it in multiple places. Now you can restrict the type of data you're passing in the function using decorator as well. I'm going to paste the function here, which is predefined. And don't worry about it much because I just want to show you how these things work. This function is a bit complex. Basically what we are doing, we have here enforce argument type. So it's just make sure what type of argument we are passing and we are then giving the adders argument type at position. This must be this type. So that's what it is doing. So for now, I just want to don't make it is too complicated. I close this function. So just see here that this uh, function we are going to use as a decorator to check the types. So here I say at, and you can see that we can pass multiple decorators. So we already have modified data. I pass here enforce argument type. And here I want to tell that the first argument we are passing is name. So that is a string. 
and the second argument we are passing is an age, so it is an integer, all right? So this is gonna check that, okay, first argument is in string, and second is integer. So if I run this code, we will get the normal output. Nothing will change here. You can see here, Roger is not adult, so we, our code is working just fine. But what if I make changes? So I remove the Roger, I put 45 here. Now this time we gonna get an error. And this error is, you can see the argument at position zero must be type string. This is happening because of that function that I place on top and using as a decorator. So this is also a uh, way to use the decorators and you will be using it. And we will get into this function as well later on, but for now I just want to, now let's change the type to int and run it. Now you can see the function ran just fine because that uh, decorator uh, allowed it passed instead place of name and then that's the reason it says 45 is not adult which is you know it is it should be roger okay so i restore it and run it all works the same way so this is how you use the decorators and we will explore them more in coming videos